Spirit of Winnie Mandela, long live. Long live the defiant spirit of Winnie Mandela, long live. Long live the fighting spirit of Winnie Mandela, long live. Forward to expropriation of land without compensation, forward. Forward to expropriation of land without compensation, forward. Forward to nationalization of mines and banks. Forward. Amanda. Thank you very much, program directors, members of the family, particularly Mama Zenani and Mama Zinzi, the Matikizela family and Mandela family, religious leaders leadership of the judiciary under the capable leadership of Chief Justice Mukwe Mukwe, members of parliament, members of the executive, the ruling party and all political formations that are here, the leadership of the Youth League, the leadership of the Women's League, the leadership of COSAS, the international dignitaries, Leaders of the EFF led by the capable leader, our Deputy President Floyd Shibambo, Commissars, Commanders, Generals of Mkonto Esizwe, in particular the underrated General Spiwe Nyanda, former President Mbeki, former President Mutlante, Comrade President Matamela Cyril Ramaphosa, Salutations to fellow South Africans, Africans and people of the world. Comrade Ramaphosa, I want to reassure you that today we are in a burial of Mama Winnie Matikzela Mandela and President Matamela, you are her president and today here Anyone who shows you disrespect will be showing Mama disrespect because you are the president of her organization and the president of this country. So be rest assured, Comrade President, that even the Red Sea is going to chair in salutation. Program directors, I'm here to speak on behalf of the economic freedom fighters the daughters and sons of Mama Nomzamo Matikzela Mandela, 
those prodigal kids isolated and banished by the liberation movement for asking for land expropriation without compensation, nationalization of mines and banks, free education, and economic freedom in our lifetime. I'm here to speak on behalf of the dejected masses of our people. I speak on behalf of the landless people, the unemployed youth, the FISMA's fall generation, the security guards, the domestic workers, the farm workers, cleaners, waiters and waitresses, the shopkeepers, petrol attendants, teachers, nurses, soldiers, police, government employees, the black middle class working in the racist firms of white monopoly capital, and all those who are paid lower salaries. I'm here not so much to bury mama, because queen mothers do not die. They multiply into million red flowers of love and freedom. I'm here to pick up the spear and make my vows that I'll continue to fight for a mission of restoring the dignity of black people through attainment of economic freedom in our lifetime. I'm here, Mama, to express my condolences to our biological children whom I know and the rest of my Dikizela and Mandela family. I'm here to look at your grandchildren in the eyes and tell them that they will never be treated like they've got leprosy for as long as I'm still alive. 